right? If you look here, so what we do is here, we take our knife, right? And we're gonna take off the top, a little triangle piece off right here, right? This, I think, is the best part, besides the, the belly, is because it's real tender. Right on, the spine goes right here. So it doesn't do a whole lot of work. So you can tell how the texture is. This is real tender, this is a real nice piece that we as sushi chefs eat, right? So we're gonna take it, we're gonna use our, our blade here, about an inch cut from the top. Real nice, sharp knife here, right? We'll take that, we'll do sashimi, we'll do nigiri with it. If you look right here, there's a tendon right here, right? We don't want that part because it's real chewy. You put in rolls, nothing wrong with it, but let's, let's talk tenderness here, right? So what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna cut it straight down and we'll get rid of that. About an inch here as well, cut this in half. We're not gonna go all the way to the skin because where the tendons are too, right? So we're gonna take it, just real nice cuts here. Come off just like that, look how clean that is, right? We're gonna go with the other side so I don't go all the way to the skin and take it, just cut it right off there. Right, look how clean that is. Real nice piece, yellowfin tuna. From here what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a teaspoon and with the grains here, we're gonna take the, the meat, the flesh if you will, away from the skin and look how tender that is now, right? Versus trying to put this, the skin inside your spicy tuna hand roll or your roll and it's just chewy, right? So you have to take the time to scrape it with a spoon, right? From the tendons and you get a better product is what you want, right? So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna take uh, the first piece that we cut up, the little triangle piece. And let's do some sashimi cuts with this. We can actually do some real nice easy cuts. Sashimi is just straight down. And cut this right in half. Look how tender that is, right? So again, sashimi is just straight down. We're gonna cut these in, in thirds, right? That's what you got there, a little sashimi plate right there. Something real easy, right? And here, if we go with uh, the giddy cuts on this piece, right? Real easy, there's an angle already there. We're gonna cut it. Just nice long strokes with the knife, right? It should be about an ounce, an ounce and a half cuts per slice here. Get a real nice sharp knife so you're not really messing up the uh, the cuts there. And you don't want to saw through it, right? You just want to just cut nice, long, like butter. It's always like butter, right? So if it looks tender like this, and you know it's gonna be tender when you eat it, right? So sashimi is about an ounce, ounce and a half cut per. Your sashimi is a little bit thicker cuts. Sashimi is just fish without rice, okay? How does that look right there? That's your nigiri cuts. So we'll take that, we'll put that right here. Right, we'll make some nigiri with that. And these cuts here, you can actually, we can do some rolls with, right? Real simple here, we can just take it just straight down like sashimi, right? If it's gonna go inside the roll, that'll be a little bit big, so we'll cut this in half, right? Just have fun with it. You know, if you're gonna make spicy tuna, everyone's favorite hot sauce, the sriracha, right? Put jalapenos inside. Just have some fun with it. But keep your fish cold. Your fish has got to be cold, below 40 degrees. Because if it starts to get warm, then obviously it starts to build bacteria. So keep it nice and cool. Keep it in your fridge until you're ready to use it, right? So these are real nice cuts for spicy tuna, but we'll just do tekamaki, right? Everyone know what tekamaki? Which is a smaller one, the hosomaki size. The seaweed on the outside is a traditional roll. Tekamaki, kapamaki. So this is just uh, the tuna we're gonna use inside that. Keep these here. We're gonna get our bamboo mat. Just something real quick here. Piece of seaweed, right? Nori. Get wet your hands. Not too much water. And we're gonna take just a little bit of rice, about two golf ball sizes, right? We're gonna go right down the center. And we're gonna go right between the, the two lines in the middle, two thirds of the seaweed here, right? And you're spreading the rice, you're not smashing it. The whole key here is to see each individual grain whole still, right? It's the whole key of making sushi, right? The whole art of making sushi. The definition of sushi is rice. So if this is spicy tuna, I can add cucumbers, I can add avocado, you can put some crab, you can do a lot of different things here. We just go all the way from end to end here, right? Right down the center, right to the back end of the mat. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna hold my product in the middle here, go over the top, right? And we stop right here. Make a nice square, right? Don't squeeze it because the tuna may come out. Then we're gonna lift it up, we're gonna go forward once, make a square, right? So you can follow its sides. Go forward a second time, make a square. And the seam is back here with me, so I gotta go back one, right? This is your tekamaki, like something just like that, right? It's cut in six pieces versus your tradition, your non-traditional roll, the reverse, which is eight. So we cut it right in half, right? 
put them together, and then we cut them in thirds, right? Third there, and a third there. Right, we put them up like that. Tuna's right in the center. Put it in right there with all your rolls. Fish here, I'm gonna do some nigiri with these other ones right here. Again, they're a little smaller, about an ounce, ounce and a half here. Take a little bit of rice, right, just a little bit. Traditionally, smear a little wasabi there. You're gonna make a rectangle box here. You gotta go pretty fast because you start building bacteria with the fish on your hand here. So you flip it, put it back down your left hand, make a square, right? There's one, take another one, right? Again, traditionally there's wasabi there. Make a rectangle box, flip it, put it back down, and you get two. So you get your nigiri, right, your sushi style, with a pear, your sashimi, right? Here's more nigiri that we can do, and then your rolls, right? Your makis, maki just means roll. Okay, so there's your tuna there.